Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I'm bringing you guys my favorites video. I know it's really, really late. I'm aware. Um, I honestly did not see where May, wait, I mean May. I didn't see where April went. April went by so fast. So I was like so off track. But today I'm gonna bring you guys my favorites video. I hope you guys and still enjoy it even though it's already the middle of May but yeah I really wanted to bring it to you guys because I tried out so many things in the month of April so I have a lot of items I want to show you guys so let's get started so I think I'm gonna start off with non-beauty favorites um because I just have like one I think so I have like about two so my n first non-beauty favorite what is that So my first non-beauty favorite is this Hydro Flask. I actually got this for my birthday. And honestly, it's so good. Especially, you do have to buy the, the cap separate if you want the straw. Mine has a straw on it. And it's just red. It's a Hydro Flask. I don't know how, um, how many um, ounces this is. I think it's about like 35, somewhere around there, 30. I don't know. Um... Yeah, I love, love, love drinking from this, especially when I, like, wear makeup. Like, I have a straw, and I just sip, and, like, it doesn't just fall everywhere. Like, um, these do. So, I've really been enjoying my Hydro Flask, and I'm just gonna love it forever. And then, going on to, like, skin favorites. For the body... Especially since summertime is coming around. The Nivea Essentially Enrich Enrich Body Lotion. Um, this is the almond oil one and it's a it's for dry to very dry skin. This is so good. This makes your skin glow, especially right now around the summertime. Mixing this with like a liquid illuminator is gonna be so bomb. This is already makes this already makes your skin look very glowy naturally. So with like adding a little bit of high powder highlight or um, liquid highlight is going to look even better so i definitely recommend you try this out it's from nivea um desi perkins shayla luster Lux, like all of them um oh and i love sarai they always talk about this and i always wanted to get it but i just have i just have had so many bath and body works ones that i could never get through and i finally got through all of them so i finally picked this one up i really also i also really like it because since it has like, it doesn't have a scent, but it has a scent. And it smells like, like almond oil, I guess. I don't know. Like, it goes, the scent goes away. And then it doesn't clash with your perfume, your body spray. So definitely recommend this. Um, it really, really hydrates your skin. Really love that. Also for the body, I've really been liking the Pink Lily and Bamboo. Uh, body spray from Bath and Body Works. It's a fragrance mist, and I really, really love it. Um, it smells really good. I feel like this this one smells a lot different from all of the other um, Bath and Body Works I've Bath Bath and Body Works um, body sprays I've tried because it doesn't smell like alcohol. It really does have like a true scent, and it's a floral scent, so beware. If you don't like it but I definitely recommend you try this because it smells really really good so should I just keep doing non-beauty favorites I'll keep doing non-beauty favorites so next non-beauty favorites have been these earrings I got these from Target and then my necklaces right here I've really really been loving the jewelry I've been so into it so I also love these um, these earrings are from Target and they're from the same like brand it's sugar fix by bobble barn and look how like luxurious these look and they were like $12.99 I think it's were like 10 bucks so they're really nice they look really luxurious they feel pretty luxurious too um so I definitely recommend going to Target if you're looking for hoops because it's the plug like I honestly never really paid attention I never pay attention to like their like clothes or like their jewelry because i'm just like it's target i don't know i just never pay attention like that so yeah i love these and i love like the thick hoop do you see it's like thick 
And then these necklaces are from Forever 21. Did I mention that? Um, they were like $5.90, I believe. And they're just three necklaces and they're like layered. And then there's like the long one and then the middle and then the short. I've really been loving them. It's, I feel like they look really like sexy, you know, like the one going down your shirt. Like I just love that look. Um, Kim Kardashian inspired me to do that too. And then this one is from Forever 21. And you know what's crazy? Kim Kardashian at the Met Gala wore like a double cross layered necklace. And I was like, I have that. So um, this is also from Forever 21. They're, it was $5.90. And they're just like these diamond out necklaces. And they honestly look really expensive. Like I'm not saying that like, I don't know. I'm not saying I like expensive things, but they don't look cheap. A lot of things that have, sorry, a lot of things that have like diamonds and stuff tend to look kind of tacky. So you have to really be careful like which ones you're buying. But I, in my opinion, they don't look tacky. I feel like they look really, really nice and put together. So let's go on to my beauty favorite. No, let's go on to skin favorites because I have like one skin favorite. So my cousin, Jennifer, she... Men, um, she actually um, pointed this out to me. This is the Bosha Exfoliating Peel Gel. And it looks like this. And this is that exfoliator that when you put it on, it like crumbles up and all, you can see all your dead skin like crumbled up. So this is really cool. And I only use this when I have a full face of makeup on like I do right now because it is a pretty harsh exfoliator. It honestly gets stuck to all my peach fuzz. So you really have to be careful with how you use this and make sure you don't use it daily because you don't want to keep irritating your skin. Like if you have peach fuzz, I don't know how it works without peach fuzz, but if you have peach fuzz, you probably won't want to use this every day, maybe once or twice a week. Just because you don't want to keep peeling the little dead skin off of your like hair and all, and all that stuff. Because it does hurt. So yeah, it hasn't broken me out. So I still recommend it. I really like it and it's really cool to use. And it's really getting a deep, deep clean. And it's, if you have a oily skin, I honestly recommend you do... Um, exfoliate maybe every night every other night um, my favorite exfoliator is the one from Murad um, that one's really good that one has always been my favorite but this one is really cool and if you want to have like a cool spa night I definitely recommend you try that so moving on to face products so I fell for it. I fell in the Physicians Formula Butter Craze Butter Train. So, does that sound bad? I don't know. Okay, forget I said that. That sounds weird to me. I don't know why. So, um, let's talk about the most popular one, which is their Butter Bronzer. And this is in the shade Bronzer. I really wanted to get the lightest shade because my older sister has and I really do love that color but I feel like their colors are not that off from each other if you know what I mean I feel like all their colors do look very similar so it wasn't that off I'm wearing it today and it honestly gives the perfect shadow it gives a perfect shadow my cat mod d1 did tend to look gray on me sometimes but this one is like it's like the perfect color i don't know what they put in this but i love how my contour looks when i wear this i love it so so much and i really love the color i feel like it's a perfect contour color so i really really love this and then this is a physician's formula butter highlighter and this is in champagne beautiful huh so I love to put this with my finger um I don't know if it's after or before I powder but I love to just put it on the tops of my cheeks it is so golden so I really love to wear this when I'm doing very minimal makeup because it kind of looks like trophy wife on me I don't know why a little less yellow but I do love this shade and this formula it's really nice on your body it looks amazing because it ha it's that buttery you know creamy formula so I really really love this and I don't love their shades um, selection this is the only color I like from their shade selection and I feel like it's gonna look even better on me when I'm really really dark so next up should I talk about this 
I'll talk about this since I already showed you. So this is the Morphe sponge. I've seen everybody use this, like Daisy Marquez and um, Jacqueline Hill loves this sponge. So I recently got this sponge because everybody, you know, likes it. And honestly, after trying out like the Beauty Blender again, after I had tried out like the Real Technique sponge and the L'Oreal sponge, the Beauty Blender, to be honest, like for some reason, I didn't like it anymore. For, I don't know. Um, it just wasn't applying my foundation like full coverage and I felt like it was too too soft and the L'Oreal one is pretty soft and I felt like the Beauty Blender was even softer than that so I decided to try this out and guys when I first used it it was hard as a rock I was like this kind of hurts and it even made a sound like when I was blending it out and I was like okay this hurts but the way it applied my foundation was amazing it barely soaked up any product it really really laid it down on my skin and it was full coverage I didn't have to use as much as foundation because I used the, um, the new NARS radiant one and that one is full coverage and I felt with my beauty blender I had to always like um, build it up even more than three pumps and but with this one with three pumps or less it gives you the full coverage it is so good I really like it and after washing it like about three times and since I do wash it every time I do use it I feel like it definitely softened up but it hasn't lost that um, bounciness or that full coverage effect that it gives on the skin so I really love this sponge and I really love these edges like when I um uh like you know <laughs> what am i talking about when i bake under right here i love it and then when i bake like just down my nose it's so good and you can really get around your eyebrow i didn't want to fall into the hype but i did i really love that sponge and i think it's about five six dollars i'm not sure i think it's seven dollars i'm not sure so the next product we're gonna talk about should we talk about a combo let's not do a combo yet so the Soft Glam Palette has been everything and more. I love this palette so much. Seriously, I have never tried out an Anastasia um, eyeshadow before, only their highlights. But I was scared to buy this because, you know, subculture and, like, um, their prism, like, it wasn't, like, the best out there. But their Modern Renaissance was, like, everybody was talking about it. But honestly, the Soft Glam Palette, if you love glam, like classic glam, you need this palette. Because this palette just screams classic glam to me. Like soft glam, it should have been like classic glam. Because these are definitely your classic glam colors. And you can do a lot, a lot, a lot of different looks with this. Like you can go really dark, really light, natural, non-natural, shimmery, all matte. I really love it. I love the color selection. It really... Um, like sums up the name of the palette i love it and i love this orange color that they picked out it it matches like cream orange soda right here and then my favorite color in this um palette is burnt orange that color is everything i love to put it all over my lid pop some lashes on and it's like glam it's so amazing that color is really unique i love that color so much so I've been loving that palette. Continuing with eyes, I've been really loving the Wispies by Eiler. I don't know if I've talked about these before, but I, sorry, I've really been loving these. Um, my cousin Jennifer did put me on these. They are Eiler Wispies. Their number is 117. They look like this. I really, really love them. When you stack them, they look like iconic um, Coco La... I they look like Coco Lashes and Iconic, so, you know. Next combo, we'll go with the combo now, the combo. So, I love this highlighter combo. It is kind of um, excessive, but hey. So, this is the Tardis Pro Glow Liquid Illuminizer. And my cousin, Jennifer, also gave me this. This is in the color Sparkler. And I saw Kathleen Lights Kathleen Kathleen Lights video on her opinion on these when she did like the box charm because I think my cousin got this in her box charm and she just gave it to me because she already had one. Um she didn't really like it and I can see why she didn't like it 
because there is specks of glitter in here. It has a really, really different consistency than a lot of liquid highlighters. It's more of a moussey consistency, but since it's moussey, it dries down pretty quick and it doesn't move. So at first I was like, she said she didn't like it, but she does have dry skin. So I know, I would assume, I like know why she wouldn't like it because when it dries down, it probably looks really patchy and textured. But this, if you have oily skin, I think you would like it. I mean, it does have specks of glitter in it, but honestly, I just put a little bit out and then I rub it and then I go on like another part of my hand and I just, you know, take a little bit of the excess off, put it down as my base, and it's so bomb. And this on your body when you mix the liquid illuminizer and the Nivea together it gives you the prettiest glow ever and since it is kind of tinted it, gives, it makes you look a little tan not that much not a lot don't get it twisted but it does so then I layer on the Anastasia Beverly Hills and Reezy highlighter and this is just called highlighter by Am Reezy so look at this wow it looks so good in this uh, this highlighter is everything if you want to buy one thing out of this whole whole video amrezy highlighter it is so bomb it looks wet on your skin it looks perfect i love this highlighter it doesn't need any like fix plus it doesn't need anything it's beautiful i really really love this highlighter and it just looks so like classy and it looks so like luxe i really really love this highlighter with this but wait so after i you know blend out my highlight i set my face with the all nighter d slick but all nighter d slick the urban decay d slick setting spray for this is for oily skin this works like when I wear this and my Pro Matte Foundation, I do not get oily. I do get a little bit of shine when I wear my NARS one. That's what I'm wearing right now, but because this is like what matches me right now. I do get um, a little bit oily, as you can tell. But this, and I wear my Pro Matte Foundation, and I set my face with my Too Faced powder. It doesn't go anywhere. I do not get oily. I love the finish of that, but I do love the setting spray in general because I feel like I would be a little bit more oily if I wasn't using this. But since I am, I feel like I'm not as oily. So yeah, this works. I definitely recommend you try this out. If you have oily skin, I love this too. And then after I do that, I go in with my Artist Couture Illuminati. You guys know I love this, but these three together make the cutest highlight ever. And it just looks um, beamy. This looks beaming. It looks really, not natural, but it just looks like glass on your skin. I love that combo. By, by, the, um, by themselves, they're also really good. So, so finally, moving on to lip products. So I have of them and they're all nudes so let me start off with the base that i've been loving so this is um i love sari and ColourPop 951 you guys know i love this this is really really good but i did want to mention this because i've been re like wearing it and look it is it's just like the perfect brown brownie nude like on me i really love this color but i've been loving to pair with one of like these glosses so obviously curvy by the collection too is really really nice my cousin jennifer was also wearing this lip combo and i loved it on her so i decided to try it and i was loving it ever since and then a recent um love that i've you know discovered is a pumping serum by hard candy did i mention this before i don't know if i did this is in the color baby doll and I love, love, love this. And then I re-fell in love with the Kylie Jenner lip gloss in Literally. This is what I'm wearing right now, 951 in Literally. And I love it. It's just like so pretty. I feel really pretty in this lip combo. And I just feel like... So, yeah, those were all of my beauty and non-beauty favorites. So let's go on to music. This video is going to be long because I had a lot of favorites. But I saw that coming because I didn't do one last month, I think. I don't think I did a March favorite. I'm not sure. But I didn't really try anything out in March until the end of March when my birthday, when it was my birthday and I, you know, got money and stuff. So I, like, 
started to try things out until April. So let's go down my songs. So I've been loving, obviously, Unica by Osuna. <laughs> Another favorite is Estamos Clear by Mickey Woods and Bad Bunny. Okay, so my next one is Sin Piamas by Becky G and Naki Natasha. is the bote but the remix you guys know i like the regular one but the remix That's my favorite part of the song. Don't tell my mom. Um, I also have been loving Cardi B's album. All of the songs. I don't want to play all of them, but her album is so bomb. So if you guys enjoyed this video, it was very, very long. I am very sorry, but I just had so many things to talk about. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Oh, don't forget to wish your mommy a happy Mother's Day because Mother's Day is tomorrow. So you better wish your mom a happy mother's day and tell her how much you love her you should be doing that every day but tomorrow you tell her even more show her even more but yeah have a good day guys